Ruby Frankie and Jody Hildebrand are being charged with six counts of aggravated child abuse. They're being held without bail, and each of those six charges carries a maximum of 15 years in prison. Fuel me once here, driving instructor of the world. Let's look at this weird case. So you've probably heard uh, that Ruby Frankie's 12-year-old boy escaped from being tied up with duct tape to a neighbor's house in Ivins, Utah, uh, said he was hungry, he needed food and a drink, and please call the police. Uh, when the police came, they found a little boy uh, with wound marks from being bound and also found his little 10-year-old sister also in, uh, in the house in Ivins uh, where she was duct taped as well. Now, horribly, the 12-year-old boy told the police, well, it was my fault, but I was still just really hungry. No way is it his fault. No way. So the case gets even weirder because uh, in court, in Provo, um, Ruby starts telling the judge, well, in May, uh, one of the kids told me that they essayed not only other kids in our family, but their cousins and friends too, at least 20 other kids. Why, why do you bring this up? in a hearing about your being a child abuser. Is she trying to take the attention away from her? What's going on? So we don't know the whole situation, but one of the mothers of a neighbor kid who was SA'd by Ruby Frankie's child uh, asked the court if she could speak and the judge said, no, not now. That'll be taken care of in another court. Now remember, Ruby didn't report this in May when she was told about this by the child, no, she reported it in court after her arrest for child abuse. Now, this is a case where DCFS was called uh, many times, uh, not only by the two older children who didn't live in the house anymore, but by other relatives and by neighbors, and they just didn't catch any of the abuse. It's seen in some of their videos at least it's a kind of toxic parenting where they denied their kids food for punishment and even uh, gifts during holidays. There's one where they said, oh, you won't get any Christmas gifts because you didn't get this done. Wow, way to make a child hate Christmas, destroying the magic of their childhood. Christmas is a time to celebrate gift giving, representing gifts that uh, the Savior gave them, and this is a Jesus-believing family. So what are they teaching them about their own religious beliefs? Kevin and Ruby are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and I want to read you something. This comes from their proclamation on the family, which is usually hanging up in very many Latter-day Saint homes, and probably theirs too. Parents have a solemn responsibility to love and care for each other, and for their children. Children are an heritage of the Lord. Parents have a sacred duty to rear their children in love and righteousness, to provide for their physical and spiritual needs, and to teach them to love and serve one another, observe the commandments of God, and be law-abiding citizens wherever they live. Husbands and wives, mothers and fathers will be held accountable before God for the discharge of these obligations. Well, they're also gonna be held accountable in court. There are not a lot of defenses as options for Ruby Frankie in this situation or Jody Hildebrandt. Jody Hildebrandt's already lost her license once uh, for when she w taught at Brigham Young University. She would report things that her clients would say to her to the honor code office. Uh, and sometimes these students would get in serious trouble. So already not ethical in terms of her being a licensed therapist. The big question is, where's the dad Kevin in all of this? We're gonna talk about that in the next video. On the road of life, please drive kind. Thank you.